In this video, we will explain how a person can lift a car with a simple effort by showing the components of a hydraulic jack, the principle of its operation and the physical explanation of it. In the event that one of the wheels of the car breaks down and in order to be able to repair and remove the defective wheel and install a new one, the driver or mechanic lifts the car using a jack which pushes the car towards upwards by successively moving the push lever up and down. There are several types of jacks, including mechanical, hydraulic and other types. In this video, we will explain to you the principle of operation of the bottle jack. The jack contains a liquid inside which pushes a piston upwards by the pressure acquired by the fluid through the movement of the lever down and up. The pressure chamber is supplied by a reservoir. And two balls direct the movement of the fluid. When the lever reached goes up, the pressure chamber duct closes and the tank duct opens. As the lever moves down, the pressure chamber opens and the reservoir conduit closes, so liquid goes into the pressure chamber and pushes the lever up. The process is repeated several times until the crown reaches the appropriate height. What is the physical explanation for what is happening inside the jack? Pascal's Law answers. Pascal's Principle, also called Pascal's Law, in fluid mechanics, statement that, and a fluid at rest in a closed container. The principle was first enunciated by the French scientist Blaise Pascal. Pressure is equal to the force divided by the area on which it acts. According to Pascal's principle, in a hydraulic system a pressure exerted on a piston produces an equal increase in pressure on another piston in the system. If the second piston has an area ten times that of the first, the force on the second piston is ten times greater, though the pressure is the same as that on the first piston. Scissor Jacks This is an old-fashioned scissor jack, which is the cheapest and smallest option available. It comes with a handle to wind the arms apart, which then lifts the car up. Position it under the jacking point and wind it clockwise until the car is lifted off the ground. To lower it back down, it is simply a case of winding the handle the other way. Trolley Jacks The trolley jack is a safer, more stable and quicker option and is the choice of many professional mechanics. The wheels mean you can roll it into position easily, but before you do, start by making sure this little lever is turned to the right which you can do using the end of the handle. Then it is simply a case of inserting the handle and pumping it until this cradle reaches the jacking point. To lower it back down, take the handle out and twist the little lever anti-clockwise, taking care to do so steadily to lower the car slowly. Bottle Jacks The bottle jack works in much the same way as a trolley jack, using hydraulic force to lift the car up. It is the bonus of being smaller and easier to store than a trolley, but this means it isn't quite as stable. Again, make sure the lever is set to the right, then unscrew the top of the jack to the correct length. The instructions should tell you how far you need to extend it. Then position it under the jacking point, insert the handle and pump until the car is raised. 